In this video today, we're going to go through creating a Stripe account, validating it, and adding in all of our bank account details. The first step is to navigate to the Stripe website and click Sign In. Upon clicking Sign In, you'll be presented with the login page. At the bottom, there's this link, don't have an account, sign up. Simply click that link and enter in an email address. Enter a strong password and click that I'm not a robot to pass validation. Upon clicking the create your Stripe account button, an email validation will be sent to the email address that you entered just to confirm who you are. Once that email comes through, click on the link or copy and paste it into your browser to be taken to a confirmation page. Simply enter your password one more time and your email account is validated. This is the first step completed. What we now need to do is to be able to activate your actual Stripe account. To do this, click on the activate your account in the top left. Here you'll be asked several questions related to the business and the all-important form at the bottom is to confirm your bank account details. Tell us about your business is a simple one-liner, so for example for Jow Studios. Enter in your relevant business information. You will need to have your company number and VAT number to hand if you do select any of these. Enter your business address and your website URL. We then need to assign a specific representative. In this instance, it will most likely be yourself. Simply enter in here your first and last name, date of birth and your address. Underneath here, the credit card statement details, you will see here the option to be able to type in what is shown on somebody's bank statement. This should be clear and highly informative. You also have a contact telephone number here. I recommend entering in your default contact or support contact number. Underneath here as well, you'll see your bank account details. Ensure that you have the correct GBP selected. Enter your bank's sort code, account number, and confirm the account number. Once you've entered in these details, click Activate Account to be able to activate your account. You'll get another email through and you may or may not get a contact call from somebody at Stripe just to confirm these details. The next step is to be able to add on a developer. The reason why you add us as a developer is because we don't need to share password information and also it means that we can come in and we can obtain test information and API information. This is information that we need to be able to integrate Stripe into your website. To add us as a developer, simply click on Business Settings, Team, New User. Underneath here, add in an email address and click Developer. Then press Invite. This will then invite us to your Stripe account with developer access. This is technically all that you need to do at this stage to be able to create and accept payments. However, what I would recommend is clicking on the business tab and filling out this page as well. This is what allows you to be able to have a good named convention underneath here. So for example, we'll put that in. Public information should you wish it to be published at a later date. So you can see now that the name's changed at the top. So this concludes this video. If you have any questions or queries, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. Always remember to sign out of Stripe once you're done.